Hey everyone, it's James at Dream Better English today bringing you a short article about one of the most followed people on TikTok. And this person is quite famous because he is the second most followed person on TikTok and he doesn't even say a word. Uh, just to remind you before we start this article to stay to the end and I will give you guys a phrasal verb and a saying. Okay, I'll give that to you at the end. So back to the article. This is an article from Italy. It's about a young man who is of African origin, but he is Italian. His name is Kabe Lame. I hope I got the pronunciation right. Kabe is K-H-A-B-Y and Lame L-A-M-E. The typical pronunciation, perhaps in English, would be ka, ka be lame. That's how we, we pronounce L-A-M-E. But I'm sure it's Kabe Lame. Anyway, he is the most one of the most followed people, second most followed person on TikTok. And he hasn't even said a word. He has 114 million followers. And how did he become one of the most popular people on TikTok? Well... The reason is he started posting videos uh, last year under his name, uh, Kabe Lame. And the reason why he started to do this was because he just lost his job near a factory in Turin. Turin is in the north west of Italy. And very quickly he became a social network star in Italy. So what he generally does is he shows in the first part of his video a video of someone else doing something but it's kind they have a name it's called assisted living where people show you videos of how to do something in a different way and then he cuts to himself which means he cuts the video and then he shows himself and he shrugs, which is when you lift your shoulders, like in a, I don't know, you lift your shoulders kind of expression. I uh, like when you, sh we call this to shrug. So you shrug and say, if somebody asks you like a question you don't know, you can shrug and say, I don't know, lifting your shoulders. And he has an exasperated look, which is kind of, oh, oh my God. Yeah. What are these people doing? So he does the shrug, exasperated look, and then he does what the people are doing and he does something much easier, much more, much less complicated. Um, so you can find his videos, as I said, under Kabe Lame. And he got the idea because he saw these videos of assisted living and he thought that he would like he saw them circulating or going viral when they go and become very popular and he thought that he would like the idea of bringing a little simplicity when he uh, he said in an interview so the only person who is more popular than him on tiktok is a dancer called charlie d'amelio C-H-A-R-L-I, Charlie, D'Amelio, D apostrophe, A-M-E-L-I-O. And Charlie D'Amelio is a Californian teenager who posts playful videos often with her big sister, Dixie. Okay, I actually, ah, okay, so I thought it was a boy, but actually I should have realized because Charlie is spelt with an I, um, and sometimes when a name like Charlie, which is female or male, Charlie can be uh, um, a boy's name or a girl's name. If it's spelt with an I at the end, it often means that it's a girl. And if it's spelt with a Y, it means it's a boy. Right now, I, ca I can't give any examples off the top of my head. That's another expression in English. Off the top of my head is thinking in the moment okay so i'm trying to think of an example and i cannot think of one 
off the top of my head right now. So there you go. Right, let's give you guys a phrasal verb. The phrasal verb I wanted to give you is bring something up. And to bring something up means to start talking about something. I would say a synonym for to bring something up is to mention. Okay, to start talking about a subject. My mother always walks out of the room when my father brings up sports. Or um, you could give somebody advice and say, oh, when you're talking to Maria, don't bring up um, that topic, let's say. Um, don't mention and whatever it is. Like, Don't mention her ex-boyfriend or don't mention... Charlie, her ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, whichever. Um, And yes, I wanted then to give you a saying. And it's related to the article. And the saying is, less is more. And this expression sometimes means like, you don't have to do a lot for it to be more important. And you can use it in a a physical sense as well. For example, like food. If you put too much food on a plate, it looks a bit messy. It doesn't look good. If you put less, it looks nicer. So you can relate it to anything. You can relate it to fashion. Don't mix too many colors. Less colors are better. So less is more. So that's the expression, less is more. Very versatile expression. We use it all the time in English. And there you go. Dream Better English with me, James O'Reilly. Hope that was good for you or I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys soon. All the best. Bye.